Hey, YouTube viewers. Welcome back to 2230, your go to channel for in depth insights into news and politics across Asia. Today, we've got some gripping updates from Malaysia, where the authorities have made significant arrests related to criminal threats against Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim and disrespectful remarks targeting the young Dipertuan Agon, the king. Just in, Malaysian authorities have confirmed the apprehension of a 34-year-old individual suspected of issuing criminal threats against Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim. Tan Sri Razruddin Hussein, the police chief, shared that the arrest was made in Kota Baru, Kelantan, and the suspect, believed to be in control of the controversial at Jayadani 89 TikTok account, is now in custody. The arrest is based on criminal intimidation by anonymous communication, as outlined in Section 507 of the Penal Code. The Serious Crime Investigation Unit, USJT, of the Criminal Investigation Department, JSJ, Bukit Aman, is diligently conducting further investigations, and the suspect is remanded until November 30th. The alarming incident came to light through a TikTok video that offered a staggering RM5 million, approximately 1.07 million US dollars, reward for harming Anwar, government ministers, or members of a political party. The video has since been removed, but the authorities are leaving no stone unturned in their pursuit of justice. But that's not all. In a parallel development, Another arrest has been made for alleged disrespectful remarks against the Malaysian king. A 37-year-old individual, suspected of managing the Sikmat Sikpa Facebook account, was detained in Kota Baru, Kelantan. The suspect faces charges under Section 4, 1, of the Sedition Act 1948 for inciting hatred and insult against any ruler. Both cases are also being investigated under Section 233 of the Communications and Multimedia Act 1998 for the improper use of network facilities or network services. The suspect in this case is remanded until November 30th, as the USJD continues its thorough investigation. Police Chief Tan Sri Razruddin Hussein issued a stern warning against engaging in speculation that may disrupt the investigation process. He emphasized the importance of caution and sensitivity, particularly on social media, when dealing with issues that involve public alarm and national security. As we await further developments in these cases, it's crucial for the public to stay informed but also to be mindful of the impact our words and actions can have on sensitive issues. That wraps up our detailed coverage on the recent arrest in Malaysia. If you found this update informative, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to 2230 for more engaging content. What are your thoughts on these arrests? Share your opinions in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.